know, his vision for the program, I think, is just perfect for what we need to do. So I'm as happy as can be and, uh, you know, ready to get to work. As we look at Coach McMacken's expected staff, here are the names circulating to be on the Warriors' sidelines next season. Ron Lee will be a Hawaii's offensive coordinator. His brother Cal Lee will be the defensive coordinator. Rich Miano will be in charge of defensive backs, but may also have an expanded role with the team. And two UH alums are said to be coming back, former UH quarterback Nick Rolovich and former UH offensive lineman Brian Smith. McMacken's announcement comes just 10 days after June Jones announced he was stepping down. UH's chancellor says the school hurried for good reason. Someone on board. Well, I think it was critically important for a number of reasons. Um, cer certainly we're hitting into a season where we have recruiting. Coaches are trying to make decisions about what they're going to do. Um, it's a, really a time that we needed to bring some leadership and stability quickly. And we were fortunate because we had a great person right here at home. But there may have already been an impact on next year's recruits. Find out how McMacken plans to make a personal plea to future commitments. More on that coming up in sports as well as our interviews with a few players to get their reaction. You can watch more on the press conference by going to KGMB9.com. Just search McMacken. Liz Chen, KGMB9 News. Thanks a lot, Liz. You can hear from McMacken himself tomorrow morning. He'll join us live on Sunrise on KGMB9 starting tomorrow at 4.30 a.m. The men's football Football squad is just one of three UH teams boasting WAC championships. Today began a week-long celebration of the Warriors along with the women's volleyball and women's soccer teams. Legislators recognized the players at the state capitol today. On Saturday at the men's basketball game, the teams will be presented with their conference championship trophies at halftime. The parade of champions will be on Sunday in Waikiki beginning at 4 in the afternoon. And next Tuesday, Governor Linda Lingle will acknowledge the championship teams in her State of the State address. That begins at 10 a.m. at the State Capitol. After all the congratulations, came some big talk at the State Capitol on this opening day of the 2008 legislative session. Lawmakers focused on developing alternate energy sources, maintaining public facilities, and protecting the environment. Our Brooks Bear has the highlights tonight. Brooks. The Keahi, the buzzword at the Capitol this year, is sustainability. Seems everyone wants to fix up what we've already got and reduce our dependence on energy from abroad. Senate President Colleen Hanabusa opened business and within seconds mentioned sustainability and its importance to the children of Hawaii. When we talk about sustainability, when we look at the future and plan for our preferred Hawaii, they are what we are really talking about. The sustainability theme carried over to the House, where Speaker Calvin Say stressed the importance of developing alternate energy sources and so we will be less dependent on oil from elsewhere. Following a week of speculation, the University of Hawaii introduced their new football head coach today. And no surprise here, Big Mac was the man for the job. Greg McMacken, head football coach at the University of Hawaii. When it was officially announced that Greg McMacken would headline the Warrior Football's high-scoring show, McMacken spoke with the candor of a supporting actor rather than the lead character. This is a very humbling and exciting time for my wife Heather and I. And while defense may be Big Mac's specialty, he was quick to let everyone know that the team's identity was not going to change. We're going to keep what June has built, there's no reason to fix something that isn't broken. And with that said, McMacken admitted the coaching staff has been doing their best to hold on to recruits during this transition period. Recruiting is the heart blood of, of your program. We are going to keep the good players in Hawaii. That's going to be our main focus. Uh, Rich and I are going to go to Samoa. We haven't been off the island recruiting in three years. The guys haven't, they've, tele, they've done it by telephone. And you have to go in and you have to meet the parents. You have to sit down here, even here in Hawaii. We've got to go get to know the parents and let them know who's going to be coaching their kids. Bringing kids into a family atmosphere rather than just a college football team is a trait that defines Mac's style one that his current players cherish. From his relationship he has with the players, he's going to help them to, with success after college is done, after they're done scoring their touchdowns or making tackles. He's ultimately going to build, um, help build all these young men into people that are going to be uh, lights in the community and um, have success in the future endeavors. 
The current Warriors staff took a blow this afternoon. Assistant head coach Jeff Reinbold has accepted a position with SMU. Reinbold is the fourth coach to leave last year's staff, joining Dan Morrison, Wes Swan, and Dennis McKnight. And to get a complete recap, don't forget to tune in to a KGB9 special, Warrior Football, A New Beginning. Liz Chun will have a sit-down interview with both the old and new head coaches for the Warriors. That half-hour show will air Tuesday, January 22nd at 9.30. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on this Wednesday, the 16th of January. Greg McMacken is the University of Hawaii's new head football coach. He agreed to a five-year deal that will pay him $1.1 million a year. It's the biggest salary in state employee history, worth $300,000 more than June Jones' previous contract. Jai Cunningham was at today's announcement. He joins us now with more on McMacken's first day as head coach. Jai? Joe, it's the second go-around for Greg McMacken here in Hawaii. He was the defensive coordinator in 1999 and once again last season. Now, coach Mack says this is the last contract he wants to sign. Greg McMacken, head football coach at the University of Hawaii. The announcement ushered in a new era in UH football. But don't expect too much change. One of the first things the new coach did was thank the old coach. The, the people in charge of the process were so very wise because we needed to uh, get going and keep the continuity that June has has developed here. With recruiting deadlines fast approaching, UH officials said they needed to line up a new coach quickly. They did so in a little more than a week. We had a good process, a great committee. We looked at the issues. We saw a person sitting there that right in front of us. It was just a great choice. And we wanted to move quickly, and so we did. But the people that were interviewed were, were solid people, and I think that uh, after that process, Greg McMacken clearly stood out as the best candidate and the perfect fit for Hawaii. The veteran coach Mack says the support has been overwhelming. I must add over 2,000 emails, and my family and I read it, read every one of them. You know, I've coached, somebody said I've coached for 40 years. I hate to really admit that, but I've, cause this was my 40th year of coaching, and the two greatest coaching experiences, and I've said that over and over, and my wife knows this, uh, was in 99 when I came here with June. The other time is, is this time. This was uh, the greatest year I've ever been involved with. How's this for foreshadowing? Coach Greg McMacken's first head coaching job was at Aloha High School in Oregon. The team's nickname, the Warriors. Jai Cunningham, KHON 2 News. Jai, I see where Don Chapman, the editor of Midweek, is calling in his publication for the new coach to restore the team's traditional name, Rainbow Warriors, that the previous coach changed to just Warriors. Did McMacken have anything to say about the rainbow issue today? You know, it was not discussed, but we could just say if, if anything reads into it, he just said he wanted to continue the momentum that had been created by June Jones. So that's about as telling as we might know. All right. Thanks, Jai. June Jones, who left UH to take the head coaching job at SMU for $2 million a year, calls the hiring of McMacken the right decision. Jones said in Texas, quote, I'm excited for Greg, the staff, and the players to be able to continue some of the things we started. Greg will do a great job. He has a lot of young players coming back and can put his touch on the entire team this spring. Most UH fans we spoke to agree the university made the right decision in hiring McMacken. It's probably one of the smartest things our president and chancellor has done. So uh, good for them. I'm glad they made a, 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 a positive decision, but a quick one. He understands the, the place uh, for the UH team. He already understands uh, the direction we want to move in. So I think it's going to be a great fit.